So welcome to my video on implicit differentiation. And before I get started with this example, I want to explain the difference between an explicit equation and an implicit equation. Up to this point, you've been taking the derivative of explicit equations. And I wrote an example for you here on the top. An explicit equation has y by itself on the left-hand side, and it has all the x terms on the right-hand side. And I also wrote for you an implicit equation here for you on the bottom. An implicit equation has all the x and y terms mixed together both on the left and the right-hand side of the equation. And whenever you want to take the derivative of an implicit equation, uh, you need to use this method which I'm about to teach of implicit differentiation. So let's get started right away with this example that I already wrote for you here on the bottom. So here we have x squared plus 3x plus 6y is equal to 5 minus y squared. And notice how all the x and y terms are all mixed together on the left and right hand side. Um, so we have to use implicit differentiation. And the only difference that you have to remember uh, when you take the derivative of an implicit equation is you have to place a dy dx after every y term. So remember that. Make sure you write that down you have to place a dy dx after every y term. And this will make a lot more sense once we get started with this example. Uh, so let's just get started right away. So first let's start with the x squared term. The derivative of x squared is just 2x. And moving right along, the derivative of positive 3x is just positive 3. And now moving on to the positive 6y term, uh, the derivative of 6y is just positive 6. And remember what I said before, you must place a dy dx after you take the derivative of every y term. So since we just took the derivative of a y term, we need to multiply by dy dx. Now moving on to the right-hand side of the equation, the derivative of 5 is just 0. The derivative of any constant is always 0 minus the derivative of y squared, and the derivative of y squared is just 2y. And like I said before, anytime you take the derivative of a y term, you have to multiply by dy dx. So now what you want to do after you derive the equation is you want to get all the non-dy dx terms on one side of the equation, and you want to get all the dy dx terms on the other side of the equation. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the non-dy dx terms and bring them to the right side of the equation. Um, so this 2x term is a non-dy dx term. So I want to bring that to the right side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. This positive 3 is also a non-dy dx term. So I want to bring that to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. And after we simplify this, uh, the 2x cancels out and the positive 3 cancels out and the only thing that we're left with on the left hand side is a 6 dy dx. And on the right hand side we have 0, which we don't have to write, and we have a negative 2y dy dx. And we also have a negative 2x, and we have a negative 3. So now that we've brought all the non-dy dx terms to the right-hand side, now what I want to do is bring the dy dx terms to the left-hand side. So I want to take this negative 2y dy dx and bring it to the left side of the equation. Um, so I'm going to add 2y dy dx to both sides of the equation. Now before I simplify this equation, I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit. Notice on the right hand side of the equation, the negative 2y dy dx and the positive 2y dy dx cancel out. And on the left hand side, we have a positive 6 dy dx and we also have a positive 2y dy dx. And on the right hand side, 
the only thing we're left with is a negative 2x and a negative 3. So the reason why we brought all the dy dx terms to the left hand side of the equation is we want to get dy dx by itself. Um, in order to get dy dx by itself, we need to factor out this dy dx from both terms on the left hand side. And notice how they both have a dy dx in common. Um, so we can factor out a dy dx. And the only thing that we're left with in the first term is a 6. And the only thing that we're left with in the second term is a 2y. And the right side of the equation stays exactly the same. So once again, we're trying to get dy dx by itself. So we want to get rid of this 6 plus 2y. So in order to get rid of this 6 plus 2y, we just need to divide both sides by 6 plus 2y. And notice on the left hand side, 6 plus 2y cancels out. And I'm going to scroll down just one more time. And now on the left hand side, we have dy dx by itself. And on the right hand side, we have negative 2x minus 3 all over 6 plus 2y. And now we have completely taken the derivative using implicit differentiation.